We've since finished the, uh, the fuel nozzle wrench that we were working on the last time. So pretty much all finished up there, so it's just a matter of uh, heat treating it now. Now we're on to uh, uh, working on our actual gas turbine engines that you uh, probably saw the last time, but uh, we have already uh, disassembled a good chunk of them already. So uh, and, uh, we're actually breaking it down into its components and then we're going to, uh, eventually going to inspect it and then uh, and reassemble the engine. These, of course, are just uh, just for the shop, so they won't fly, but uh, we get to practice on these ones. There's a lot of work to do, so uh, it, it, compared to when you were here last, uh, um, still a sim similar amount of homework and stuff, but maybe getting into the swing of things a little bit better, so I'm able to, uh, uh, handling it all right. <laughs> it, it is hard work to, to learn all this stuff there, and it's uh, you don't necessarily get a whole bunch of free time, but uh, uh, I, I am in, enjoying the program as we're, as we're going along in it and uh, because, they, yeah, it's like what I'm doing and it's, it's fine, it's, I find that cool, uh, sort of liking what we're doing and it's making it easier to learn it, so. so uh. Uh, well, we uh, heard from our previous class, they've actually, uh, they just graduated uh, since uh, you are here last and uh, they have, actually all of the students so far are actually working in the industry now, we're just, we're just tired, so, so it's a very good sign right now. Going through summer, having no homework and whatnot, and coming to school, and it's, it, it is, it's, it's a workload, I mean, you got to work at it and it gets hard at some points, but you also get your rewards, which is working on the engines and you know, learn a lot. This is the uh, power producer turbine which is all the gives you all the power towards the helicopter blade. Uh, this is where the exhaust comes out. This is the compressor section down here which uh, pretty much uh, takes the air from outside, inducts it, compresses it into a very condensed load and shoots it up through the exhaust system right up here through the uh, gas producer turbine into the power producing turbine, which essentially uh, gives the power to the helicopter rotor blades. What's the coolest thing you've done in this program so far? Uh, so far, it'd be this step right here, working on the engine, tearing it all apart and learning about how we get all the horsepower out of such a light engine that we have here. It's been a pretty interesting part. Rob, what's changed since the uh, last time we were out here to visit you? Well, last time we were working on this fuel nozzle wrench, and now we're actually working on the engines. Cool. So how did your, uh, how did your wrench project go? You it turned out pretty good. good. You want to show us the wrench here? Pick it up. Right on. <laughs> how is BCIT doing outside of the program for you? Like, is it creeping into your regular life? Absolutely. It's, it's like all I do, because I live in Mission, right? So it's a long commute. By the time I get home, study, go to bed, do it all over again. <laughs> Are you enjoying it now? It's, it's enjoyable at some points. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to convince me of that? Well, we're taking off this um, combustion section. That's what James is doing right now, loosening all these uh, nuts and bolts. These rings that connect to the... I can't quite remember what these, <laughs> these are. <laughs> That's a good right on. So, uh, what, are, you still, you know, are you still excited about the program? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah working hard, getting through it. What do you think uh, about the future still? It's looking pretty good. It's looking good. It, there's a lot of opportunities out there. 